So we're going to show you how to do cool tin, how to actually install them. I use this thing. Punch a hole in the tin. So we're going to punch holes in the tin. And I'll show you what they're for. I'm going to put one right here. Uh, one right here. Just two on each side. Mm-hmm. It's a lot faster than drilling. You can drill. Kind of a neat tool. They have these at Harbor Freight. 40 bucks. So normally underneath your cylinders you have, uh, on your Type 1, you have one of these type of things. And what they have is, on Type 3s, they have this type of a cooling system. And some people will say that it, this does not make it run cooler, but it actually does. And I'm going to explain this to you real quick again. Even though I've explained this before, um, because somebody might be a brand new person watching. So you guys who've already seen this, uh, please be patient for a minute or you can fast forward a little bit. Um, but what these actually do is they replace the, those those deflector shields. That go, these normally go between the two cylinders here underneath the engine. Okay, and the problem with these is they do work, uh, but what they they miss like this portion right here of the cylinder so um, usually when you'll see when you'll see uh, and, and right here over here a little bit on this side so usually what you'll see on an engine you know this is the number three side too so usually what you'll see is if you have a, a, a bad piston it's usually going to be burned through right in here correct right, right right here and so that's uh right here or if it was on this one it'd be right here where the studs are so what this does is it actually goes underneath the cylinder tin and uh, goes like this. Let me put that on there. We'll just mock it up right now. So they can be a little bit of a challenge, especially with you know, 10 millimeter studs. I think they were designed for eights. So um, this case is a little bit thick. So you're gonna have to do sometimes a little bit of trimming to get them to fit, uh, you know, and, but, and you can a little bit of bending. So like that, to, but it does take a little bit of time. So we'll get it on here, and we'll show you what's like on there. So then through your holes, we um, actually on this side, you notice we put them on in advance in the back um, and twisted them and covered them because this one here is really covered by the case. And then just make sure they're on there really good and tight. And you put the put this through your cylinders here, and then run it back through. Let's look at the other side, and then thread them through like that. So it's much easier to do this when you have your engine, if it's out of the car. If it's in the car, it can be really pain in the butt. And when you're building the engine, it's much easier to do. So these need to be really tightly up against here. I noticed it already popped loose. I'll bring you back in the video in a second. Then you, so then you just go ahead and wire them in so that they're on there really nice and tight uh, around your studs, around like this, and then so that there's no way they can fall out. You don't want them to get, you don't want any air between the cylinders escaping. Um, it should come, you want everything to come out these metered holes. And so what these do that's better than the other, again, is what they do is, there's two different things. They meter the air that comes through your cylinders, it takes, make sure it, that all the air is, none of it's wasted, it all has to go through these holes, okay? And what that does is that gives it the maximum amount of, um, it gives them the maximum amount of, of cooling, you know, and no wasted air um, going around your cylinders, so there's no part of your cylinder that's, that's, that's not getting air. And the second thing that it does is it, because it meters the proper amount of air going through here, it allows more air, air to go through your heads and also helps air to go all the way around the combustion chamber of your head here and go out just this area and go out the back of the car. Um, now, we'll show the cylinder uh, cylinder tin on there so you can see what it's kind of more, a little bit about what it's like, um, and then we'll talk a little more about that. See it. Okay, so now you can really see what they do when I get down here um, you can see it just there's no before you would have 
a gap right here, okay, and you'd have this normal vertical small piece of tin that goes down right here. I would say probably 80% of the cars I've seen that is missing because people took it off and didn't put it back on. Um, you don't totally need that now. Um, so if you can deal with these small holes here um, and the back tin on yours um, will just overlap and set there and it doesn't bother you, um, you don't totally need those. You can actually still put them on but you may have to bend them a little bit um, so they're not just going to bolt right on. And you notice if you, it's just like if you get, you know, some of the Chinese tin or some of the, uh, I don't know, Brazilian tin or whatever and try to put on a German tin. It doesn't fit quite right. You have to kind of tweak everything. You can get them to work, but you don't totally need those anymore. You could actually put nut and washer if you wanted to here and that'll probably settle it because what that piece of tin was for that was here was to kind of catch some more so that the air would kind of go want to go downward and not just go outward right here so that uh, you would you wouldn't have like a bigger gap that's what that little tin was for to work with the other def uh, deflector plates underneath so since you have this now you notice that this goes to the head and brings the air down um, they're really you know people and, and people will say that uh, you know that there was a bulletin out on VW, and I, I don't doubt there wasn't. Uh, the Volkswagen said that this kind of tin on a Type One won't work; it doesn't help cool it. Um, it's basically it was an insurance policy for them to not get sued um, because if they did say that they did work, then they would basically be saying that their engineering was wrong. And do you think they're ever going to say that? No, they won't say that. So this is how the cool tin are installed, and. This is what they do. Um, they're available again at CarCraft. They're called either Type 3 engine tin, or sometimes they're known as cool tin. You know, back in the old days, you were called cool tin. They're probably just, if you tell them you want Type 3 deflector, um, deflector plates for underneath your cylinders, they'll know what you're talking about. And you can order these. I'll put a link in the video. And uh, it does help cool your engine. It actually, we found that it really does work, give you uh, better temperature if they're installed correctly and you wire them in like this here. If you don't have the wire and pulling them up tight and they fall loose, that's when people have problems and that's why people say they don't work. Um, even some of the old school guys said, yeah, they, they don't work. One of the guys, Bob Hoover or something like that says, they don't work. And then he says, well, they work only if you install them correctly. Well, when are you going to, you know, <laughs> when are you going to say that they, he says they don't work and the people, you know, and then he says, but they only work if you install them correctly and nobody installs them correctly. And it's like, okay, well, just install them correctly, then you won't have a problem. So anyway, yeah, we found uh, several degrees of cooler, you know, of cooler temperature, engine to head temperature just from this and also cylinder temperature lower. I did buy one of those temperature laser things. So we'll be showing some of that later in other videos coming up. I'll be talking to you guys in the next one. And uh, this is going to end this video, This particular, but it's also going to continue the engine build. So if you're watching the engine build, stay tuned. Um, this is going to end this particular portion of the video. We're going to put this up separately.